Hello and welcome. In this short video I will go through the J River Media Center configuration items that I use to um, customize a default install of J River um, to do the way the things I want it to do the way I want it to do it. Um, there are a significant number of, conf of uh, configuration items, menu items in J River. Um, it can be a bit confusing. I can never remember where they all are. I have a crib sheet where I have the options written down um, because I just can't remember where they all are and I'll miss some. These options that I use have come from using J River over the previous three years or so um, and is a and are a, a set of options that work for me. So let's fire up Media Center. I've not installed a a license on this at the moment it's just working in its trial period which is fine for demonstration purposes so one of the things that took me a long time to to find is you can customize the um, the toolbar across the top of the screen if you right click one of the menu options you can customize the toolbar which is really handy um, I will try and now reproduce what I have. So I'm adding a separator. These one these ones here that um with the ampersand in front are the ones which are built in. Your file video, your file edit view player tools help. File edit view player tools help. They're the menu options that, that exist already. Now I want to add some of my own and to to separate them I'll add a separator. Then I will add import which is here. Then I will add another separator. No, I won't. I need to move that up. Then I will add run auto import now, which is. Then I will add another separator. Then I will add tag, which is under T. Add a separator. Then I will add refresh. Then I will add another separator. Then I will add recently imported. Done. And now you see these appear across at the top. Now somewhere you can add the text labels. Show text labels. There we go. So we've got some new icons and some menu functions um, instantly accessible from the toolbar. Um, the majority of the options within Media Center are under Tools, Options, and you have this main menu, um, main icon, my, ah, excuse me, main icons on the left relate to sub menus on the right. So hopefully starting at the top, I shall working off my crib sheet. Tools, options, audio, track change, which I can't see. That's not a good start, is it? Oh, here we go. Track change. Um, do not play silence, leading and trailing. So I want to untick that. Um, otherwise, Media Center can not play silence and shorten your tracks a bit. Um, I'd just rather let the track play as, as the complete track. So I've unticked that. Tools, Options, Audio, Volume Protection. I turn that on. That's, that 
restricts the rate at which the volume uh, slider, which is here, can move. Um, and it sort of fights against you as you try and move it. It just stops you accidentally clicking and dragging and, and whacking it onto 100% and blowing your speakers to kingdom come. Um, I quite like having that turned on. Moving down to library and folders. Um, run import on empty libraries. I turn that off. It stops you racing the the uh, countdown timer that I talked about in the first video. Um, under the configure auto import you get the dialog box, the menu, the menu items, uh, oh, configuration items that were um, configured in the first video. I'll leave these uh, set as they are but you can revisit them here should you need to. Uh, tools, options, library and folders, manage library fields. When you get little dots here it means that there's yet more menu options that appear. I did say the configuration options within Media Center are, are extensive. Um, library folders, manage library fields, select show oh, show a link checkbox. Where is that? Show a link checkbox is here. That puts little arrows next to the um, file entries and the um, and the tracks within some of the views, which allows them to be linked together so you can find an um, artists of a of the, uh, the, the tracks from the artists of the same type or um, possibly the same type of genre it will the, it sort of links them um, together behind the scenes it can be quite handy but it's not turned on by default under media network client options when connected do not convert the audio audio conversion um, I have that all my all, all my PCs that run media center can play files of any type so I don't need to convert between different machines Tools, options, tree and view. Sorting. Ignore articles. This will uh, stop things like articles like the um, affecting the sorting of um, the tracks or the band names. For example, if you ignore articles, the Beatles get sorted under B rather than T for the. Um, it's a more natural way to do it. Um, under advanced, oh no, right click recent command count one, I change that to the maximum of eight. I can't remember why, but it's on my list. Tools option file location. This is handy to revisit every now and again. Just to see what's going on. Um, this tells you where uh, rips will go if you use um, Media Center to rip CDs. It shows you where the images are. Um, I'm concerned as to where library backups go. So library backups go 
under my username under a folder under Media Center 22 that's fine at this point in time and temporary files also go under Media Center 22 um, conversion cache which can get full is slightly higher up the uh, directory tree but it's, uh, it's all under the user on this copy of Windows which is actually called Media Center right that's the majority of the things I configure so I can click OK having to make changes to my machine so it pops up the UAC box again and it seems quite happy with that. One of the things you can do is to customize the display of what appears in here. Um, at the moment it has elapsed time out versus total time, the bit rate, the position of which track you're playing. If you're playing in a list of tracks so I'm going to edit this but and I've got the string I use in a file which I will try and find just minimize that uh, here's my build document they are the settings I've just been through and in here I have the string that I use so I can copy that Go back to J River, right click here, customize display, and in the status, we can paste that in. Click OK. So if we go to let's play a bit of King Calls yet. List the file. Let's play Billy Bones. And when we play that, we see we now have extra information down here. Um, that's my personal preference. The item is configurable to your choice. The final thing I'll do in this video is I'll change the skin. Um, I've downloaded a skin from the J River forum. I like black and blue too. High HC and SB I believe is the version with a slightly wider scroll bars. In that folder there's an MJP file and I believe if I double click it will get added to the skins within Media Center. So at the moment nothing's changed but view skin black and blue to HCSB has now appeared this was not there before and if I select that it changes the skinning of Media Center so that's the configuration the customization I typically do from a brand for a brand new install of Media Center it only takes a few minutes to do. I have to work from a from a a list because I don't remember all the settings are. But it doesn't take long, and it turns it into uh, gives it the look and feel, and configures it the way I'd like to do. So thank you for watching.